Hi guys, Dane here, and today I've got something super exciting. I have a World of Wizardry box from uh, Geekycraft, I believe they're called, and I'm going to do an unboxing. I ordered a couple of boxes from them, so this could be anything. However, I want to film and film myself opening it now, because otherwise the problem is, is I will see somebody on YouTube get this box, and then it will massively spoil it for me. So, we're going to have a look inside and see what we got. This is my first ever subscription box, by the way. Very excited. Just, uh, I actually ordered this after seeing Kit Kats Can Read get the December box because it looks super cool. Oh my goodness! Green for Slytherin. It smells really minty again. It smelled really minty last time, though. Why does it smell so minty? I don't understand. Alright. This is what it looks like inside. I'm going to take some things out and see what we got. I mean, this is the obvious one to start with, which is this on the front, and this is a t-shirt. My goodness, I can't see it from where I am. Oh, is it Newt Scamander, I guess it is, isn't it? With his uh, little suitcase, and I haven't seen the Fantastic Beast movie, so I don't really know, but it is a cool ass t-shirt regardless. I'm going to put this on. I will be back in a minute because I'm on low battery, so I'm going to put this on and start the camera off again. Alright, so I'm wearing the t-shirt. This is super comfy, you know. I'm, I'm pretty picky about my t-shirts. I like, um, that's to be really soft. I have, I have sensitive skin. But, um, this one does the job quite nicely. I mean, I've just put it on. Usually I would have to wash it to soften it, but, uh, yeah, it's super comfy. Sorry if I'm not doing a particularly good job of reviewing this, by the way. I mean, I've, I've never reviewed a subscription box before. Like I say, I've never even had a subscription box before. So, I am doing my best. Let's see what else we've got in this box of goodies. I'm gonna move that. What is this here? This is... Ooh! Is this a candle? I hope it's a candle, because I, I like candles as well. <laughs> Every time I see people do an unboxing on YouTube and they get a candle, I'm so annoyed because you can't smell it. It is a candle. It is green apple. Handmade with love. Let's give this a sniff. Oh, that does smell good. It does smell like green apple. It smells like, um, I don't know if there's, there's a, a, a green apple shampoo I used to use, and it smells a lot like that. House candle, a green apple. The only problem with candles, and I had this discussion with my, my uncle uh, over Christmas, is that when you get a really nice candle, you never actually want to burn it, so I always end up just using my cheapest candles and going from like the cheapest to the next cheapest to the next cheapest. So I'll probably keep this on display for a while and not actually use it. But I, I will get there eventually, and I will we'll try to report back. All right, next up. Is this a print? I don't want to break it, trying to get into it. Whoop! Da, 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 da. Oh! Oh, that is cool! <laughs> Alright, maybe I can figure out a way to put this on the wall behind me or something. This is, uh... As you can see, it is the, it's the Hogwarts crest, so you've got the big old Hogwarts crest in the middle, and then we've got Gryffindor, Slytherin, yay, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. But we all know Slytherin is the best. It's a bit glossy, it's a bit shiny, so sorry if that's uh, getting in the way. Very nice! House, Artisan Bath Bomb. So because I'm Slytherin, we get... Peppermint and tea tree, green and grey. That's possibly why this particular box smelled so much like peppermint. By the way, I don't have a bath here. I only have a shower. However, I can keep this until we go to a hotel or something. Oh, look at that. Ooh, bath bomb. So as I said, we don't have a bath at my house, so I don't get to use bath bombs that often. But when I do get to use them, it's pretty cool. So I can either use it when I go to visit my mum, or if I stay at a hotel or something like that. So I'm going to keep this ready for that. However, um, you know, I guess it's quite a metrosexual thing, but I freaking love me a bath bomb. And I would never go out and just buy myself one as well. I, I just steal them from my mum when I go home. But um, I like having a bath, and I like taking a book into the bath and reading in the bath. So... Lovely. World of Wizardry Competition Special Edition Geek Gear Exclusive. Oh, so this is a rare one. 
So it says here, show your support for the ever-growing World of Wizardry community. Our amazing followers have created some fantastic designs, some of which we have brought to life in this special collection. So, Oh, and there's a hard plastic fastener to make sure the pin remains in place. So you can get the sorting hat, a spew badge, or... I don't even know what that last one's meant to be. Is that meant to be Luna Lovegood? I don't know. Here's the ones you can get, look. So those are the ones you can get. And I've got... The spew badge, it's actually sideways, you have to have it this, look. The Reppin, the Society for the Protection of Elvish Welfare, yo! It's actually annoying because they put the badge in there sideways, and if they hadn't, I might have left this on display. But because it's sideways, we're going to have to head inside anyway. There we go, a little spew badge. Again, I think the cool thing about these boxes is that the stuff that comes in them is stuff that I wouldn't necessarily buy, but... It is super cool to own, so it's a nice little, nice little thing to get, I think. Now we have here handmade artisan cushion cover. Now you know that I like my pillows. Wow! <laughs> All right. So this is a Slytherin pillow cushion, and it's got the Slytherin logo and a little bit of ambition on it. I'm gonna go and uh, buy a bizarre quirk of fate. I actually have an unused pillow, so I'm gonna pop it into me Slytherin was name. And there we have it. Just like that, we have a lovely little Slytherin pillow. So I'm gonna put this in pride of place on the sofa. You go there, next to my other Slytherin pillow. <laughs> Lovely. Very cool. Alright, and we're coming down to the bottom now. We've got... So these are some of the recipe cards. So in the December box, they sent out like a, uh, a wizarding cookbook kind of thing. And then over time, in each box, they're going to send out these recipe cards so that you can add to that. So here we have a recipe for a Weasley family breakfast. Which I suppose I could put a vegetarian twist on. So that's... Did the lights just go funny? I'm pretty sure they did. Anyway, Weasley family breakfast. And we've also got a recipe here for magical butterscotch cheesecake. Which sounds incredible. I'm going to try and get my girlfriend to make it. Right at the very bottom we have this, which I assume is this month's print. And this is an Expecto Patronum print. Okay, for your chance to win, upload an image of you with your favourite World of Wizardry items and use hashtag I love geek gear. Ironically, they've used an apostrophe and pops where there shouldn't be one. Alright, and the items we've got. So, we had the competition pin, which was the spew pin. Uh, it says, this month you will receive one of these amazing pins designed by a few of our loyal fans. Uh, that was RRP £6.99. We got the house cushion cover, RRP 9 99 in this month's box, you will receive one of these beautifully handmade cushion covers with your chosen house crest. Perfect for that lazy day in bed. I will say I don't actually like the material this is made on too much. It's kind of a kind of a canvasy material. I got my geek gear box. Did you? Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Goes well with the other one. I mean, we've got this print. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, cool. The Weasley family breakfast recipe was done by Felicia at the starvingchefblog.com. House candles, five ninety nine. These candles have been carefully handmade and are a great way to add a little magic to any room. You will receive the candle that matches your chosen house. Poster. This month you get this amazing poster. It depicts the crest of all four houses and the famous Hogwarts emblem. I'm sure you'll agree it's a special addition to any wizarding fan's wall. Another missing apostrophe. Get on your apostrophes, World of Wizardry. You're missing, <laughs> missing about six of them. Expecto print, RRP four ninety nine. This month's prints, missing apostrophe, are modern renditions of Expecto Patronum posters. These prints are exclusive to our World of Wizardry January box. Will you get our limited edition? No, I didn't get the limited edition, I guess. Looks as though the limited edition one is basically like this, but in a slightly sort of pink colour. We've got the House Bath Bombs, RRP 599. Handmade house-inspired bath bombs are a great way for fans of the Wizarding World to relax and unwind. You will receive your chosen house colour. And then... The Newt t-shirt that I'm modelling for you guys. Glows in the dark apparently, so we'll have to check that out. Show your appreciation for Newt and his beloved beast with this glow in the dark t-shirt. It depicts this famous magic zoologist with silhouettes of some of the wizarding world's magical creatures. So that is it for the World of Wizardry January 2018 box. It's now empty, as you can see. Uh, I should point out I bought this with my own money. It's not a sponsored video or anything like that. Although I know people do do sponsored videos with these guys. I actually bought it just purely because it seemed like the coolest box. And uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this little haul. I guess 
The only thing I, I guess I would say is like, you know, a six pound bath bomb is all well and good unless you don't own a bath. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I get why they include those because I guess it's something to kind of bulk out the box and add a little bit of extra value to it. But, but equally, six pound for a bath bomb. You could just get some like bubble bath for 99p from the pound shop. But I digress. I think... You know, all this stuff's pretty cool. I do like this t-shirt. Uh, so anyway, that's what I thought of the January uh, Geeky Gear World of Wizarding box. Did I get that right? Um, I'll leave a link below so you can find out more about this box. For my, for my first box, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I have nothing to, to compare it to, but I guess I'd give it a pretty solid sort of 7 or 8 out of 10. Hello, Biggie. Are you coming to join in, are you? What was your favourite item, Biggie? Hey. Oh, Biggie, it's a box for you. Yes, do you want to come and sit in the box? Come on, Biggie. So, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Let me know with a comment. Let me know if you've subscribed to any boxes yourselves. And uh, also let me know which of these items you're uh, most jealous of. Because I know it is clearly my Slytherin pillow. And, uh, yeah. In the meantime, I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.